Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to review the IT Cosmetics Confident in a Compact Serum Foundation. That is a whole damn mouthful, but it recently came out and I was like, you know what? I gotta check this out for you guys. If any of you guys are thinking about looking for a compact foundation or something like that, then I was like, you know what? I wanna do you a solid and check this out. So before we even get started, if you're new here, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. I put out content three times a week, so you don't wanna miss out. So make sure you go ahead and click that bell for those notifications. And if you're an oldie but a goodie subby, hey boo, I always love to see you back again. So, all right, um, give this a thumbs up too. That way I know what kind of videos you guys like. You know what I mean? Gives me some, some thought and motivation for future videos. Anyway, okay, I picked up this foundation right here, the Confidence in a Compact, and the color I picked is the color Deep, and I'm wearing it right now. So I will show you guys a live demo, and I'll give you guys my final thoughts afterwards, but I kind of just want to show you guys a little bit of an intro, show you guys what it looks like, and all that jazz. So when you take it out of the box, this is what it looks like, just this little compact here. It's got like a mirrored front. On the back, it just has like a little bit of, you know, some information about the foundation, the shade, all of that. When you open it like this, you get a little bit of a mirror here. And when you open up, like actually it does come with a cushion. Let me go get that for you guys. So this is the little cushion that it comes with. Now you could use this cushion. What I don't like is I feel like they're kind of hard to clean and they just degrade kind of fast. It is really, really soft but I'll show you guys in a bit what kind of brush you can use for this foundation. Now when you open up this little compartment here, you get this little serum foundation. So this is what it looks like. I've used it a couple times, so it's a little, you know, spread out, but it is a really nice consistency, I will say. Now, when you look at the back of the box here, it does contain two ingredients that attribute to the SPF 50 for UVA and UVB rays. Now, um, it does contain titanium dioxide and zinc oxide in it. Now, I'm somebody that can't use a lot of typical sunscreens because my skin will react to it. I'll look like a pale ghost and you know, that's just, it's not a cute look for me. But I will go ahead and I'll tell you guys my thoughts when I get to the final review, how I feel about this and how my skin has responded. But you should know that this does have SPF in it. So on the uses on the back of the box, it also says that it helps prevent sunburn, but they also say here that you must use it as directed with other sunscreen protection. So that means that you do want to wear sunscreen under it or some kind of protection. You don't want to just rely on your makeup. You know what I mean? Now, as far as the actual product itself, I think it's really nice to carry around if you ever need to touch up or something. Um, it's really handy and it's very, very lightweight. Now, as far as the actual product that you get in this thing from what the box says you do get 0.63 ounces so you know it's a little bit of foundation but it's not a lot compared to like your standard one ounce size that you would normally get so if that's a factor for you just keep that in mind it does retail for about $38 so you're getting 0.63 ounces for 38 bucks um, everybody has, you know, a different scale of what they consider expensive or what they don't. I will say that per my personal opinion is I think it's great for, you know, what you're getting. I think it's a good deal. If you are in the neighborhood or the habit of spending $38 for a foundation, you can afford it, then hey boo, you know, that's cool. It does come in seven shades. Now, this shade that I have here is the color Deep, and that is the darkest shade. The color that I'm wearing is the darkest shade. I will say that seven shades of foundation total is not enough for everybody. There are so many different shades of browns and pinks and whites and oranges and peaches and everybody has just, you know, so much variation in their skin tone. So obviously that's not enough. I do wanna go ahead and get to the actual live demo of the foundation. 
That's enough talking. <laughs> Let me show you guys what it looks like while I'm putting it on and then we will get into the final review. Okay, so now that I've got you guys all zoomed in, so I've already used this at least, you know, twice I would say. Now I saw that the brush that they do suggest using is like a kabuki shaped brush so I'm going to use this Luxie flat top kabuki brush. It works really really well. My face is already primed. I've used this one the DHC Velvet Skin Coat Primer. It works excellent. I'm just dipping my brush like this kind of like stippling it into the foundation and look so I mean obviously you guys can see I don't have like too much to cover up on my skin but this is what it looks like so I've got it on half of my face this side has the actual foundation and this side doesn't I will say it has like a nice like pleasant minty smell it hasn't irritated my skin at all because I do have sensitive skin so that's nice it just smells really lovely when it goes on now you do kind of want to like stipple it on there to spread it out you don't want to like cake it all at once um, because in my experience it hasn't really been a full coverage foundation it's like light to medium so I don't think it would look that great if you try to cake it on you know what I mean <laughs> here's what the foundation looks like before you even set it just like fresh on the skin it does have like a semi dewy look when it's like fresh like this and once you set it it looks like very natural it doesn't look super matte it doesn't look super dewy I feel like it's just like nice and natural to me this would be something best suited for somebody who wants to wear something like this to work or anywhere where you just want to look like like you're wearing a BB cream but it's not a BB cream it's an actual like foundation you know what I mean because it just looks very like skin like and then there's also the added benefit that it does have SPF in it and that means that if you're gonna be outside you're gonna have some built-in protection which is pretty nice of course I would always encourage everyone to actually use SPF protection underneath your makeup because never rely on just foundation or just face makeup alone to handle that job it's not really suited to handle it for an all-day type of thing you know what I mean okay so I'm back I finished up the rest of my makeup if you're interested as to what I use I'll put them down in the description box let's get on to the final review of the foundation as you guys can see it really has a really nice um, like skin like you know look to it super natural it's not super matte and it's not super dewy like I said before and it wears really nicely I've worn it for six to eight plus hours and it's been really nice it looks just the same as it does now now I will tell you guys look I mean it does have SPF so you've got to expect flashback from this little guy right here you know don't wear this to an event where you think that there will be flash photography because it's not going to be a cute look for you but i think as far as having something that's like every day you know just kind of like looks like light makeup you know <laughs> it's gonna look really beautiful i think the texture is really beautiful um i think it blends in really seamlessly with the skin and i'm going to show you guys um a little flash test just to you know provide some actual you know results some proof <laughs> because I'm pretty sure that it's gonna come back with flashback but I want to be 100% sure for you guys just in case you're thinking about investing in this well 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 I just came back from doing some flash pictures and I gotta say okay first of all I'm gonna put the pictures right here on the side so you guys can see what it looks like I tried it with flash convinced that I was gonna get flashback and I'm so freaking surprised like they look pictures look pretty good pretty good um, so I experienced at a normal length like if I was gonna take a selfie like right you know here or something I thought the picture came out like beautiful however if you bring the camera like an obscene amount like hella 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 close like right in front of your nose <laughs> 
of course you're gonna get you know some flashbacks so that's what it kind of looked like to me now um i gotta say i'll give it to it cosmetics for this basically i think based on my little testing right there that you could definitely wear this to an event with flash photography hey i got the receipts and uh yeah I just, I'm surprised. I'm really, really, really surprised. So I definitely suggest that you guys go and check out this foundation. Um, I'm not even really sure that they have samples. If you can get a sample, go ahead. Um, but you know what? If you do decide to buy it, hey, go to a place where you can exchange it or return it within a certain amount of days just in case you don't like it. But I'm gonna say, I'm wearing this foundation right now. I think it looks quite lovely. In the pictures, I thought it did fabulously well. It hasn't irritated my sensitive skin, so I gotta say that is a major plus for me because SPF makes my skin break out like nobody's business. Um, yeah, that being said, um, I'm gonna give this a two thumbs up. I, I think they did pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please don't forget to check out some of my previous videos. I'll put them right here for you. And I hope you guys uh, come back, come back for the next video. If you aren't subscribed, please do so right now. I put up videos three times a week, so you don't wanna miss them. All right, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.